Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 overview slash first impression video. Today we're checking out the Sims 4 kids room stuff which is the 7th stuff pack for the Sims 4. Um, so I can't believe that we already have 7 of these and I wasn't expecting another July release for a Sims 4 content but we have 2 contents for July, the other one is Dine Out which was released earlier this month so okay kids room stuff looks like it's gonna be pretty awesome because it's gonna be giving us new stuff for the kids which in my opinion have been largely ignored in the game so I'm really really excited to have some new stuff especially as a builder I can't wait to have new kid stuff okay so welcome to the sims 4 kids room stuff battle with monsters collect and trade monster cards featuring your sims favorite magical creatures use cards in the electronic battle station to bring them to life and challenge friends to a monster duel that's sure to excite that is so exciting like literally reading that sounds like pokemon or digimon and that is my life when i was a kid seriously anyway play with puppets the all new puppet theater with a bit of imagination sims can tell a variety of whimsical stories to entertain an audience of family and friends really really awesome as well customize kids rooms yes um, build kids bedrooms that are both expressive and full of style, excite your sims imagination with colorful new furniture, themed decors ranging from space robots to fun flower flourishes, yes that's what I'm excited about and of course kids fashion. Trendy yet playful kids clothing and hairstyles let sims showcase their individual style or highlight their obsession with the latest tween heartthrobs. Speaking of kids fashion, let's go ahead and check out all the new cast assets and let's go and create a household. All right, all right, all right, we are back in cast mode and we have some kids versions of my sims from my get together let's play. All right, so we're gonna be checking out some hairstyles and it looks like we have only one new hairstyle. What? Seriously? Um, okay, we only have one new hairstyle that came with a kids room stuff. That's very surprising. Okay, one new short hairstyle. I'm okay. You know what? Let me just filter this so I can properly see everything. Uh, okay, content and packs. Let's see here. Kids room stuff. All right, we have two new short hairstyles. I stand corrected. All right, we have this one, which I do not like at all. <laughs> and then this one, which is okay. Both of these look like hairstyles for boys, by the way. Anyway, um, we have this one, which is adorable. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. I love this. I love this so much. I wish we actually had these for the adults, because I would use this for adults, actually. This is so cute. It somehow reminds me of Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I don't know why. And then this one, which I also really like as well. I love this braid. She looks like such a rebel, actually. Um, so that's really cute. I love both of these hairstyles. I'm not too sure about the short ones though. They These might be available for the guys. So yeah, let me just put her in this because that is too cute. And let's... Um, okay, you know what? Let's check out all the other uh, things we have. New, no, 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 no. Do we have new hats? Let's see here. Kids room stuff. No, we don't have new hats. New accessories, probably, maybe. Let's see here. Uh, no, no new accessories. I'm really surprised. I'm pretty sure we don't have any new makeup. So let's go ahead and check out some new, some of the new clothes that we have with kids room stuff. Um, so let's see here. Let's start with the tops, I guess. There we go, and we get a crap ton of new stuff. Um, I'm assuming some of these are also available for the boys, because I cannot believe that we get these many new tops just for the girls. This one is adorable, I love this so much, like, I love this so much, this is too cute. I love the studs, it's, it's so cute. Uh, this is another really cute one, looks pretty rebellious, but I really, really like it. I love this. I love the jacket, especially uh, with that hoodie. It's too cute. And then we get this cute little ombre one. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Uh, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I want a shirt like this, by the way. Maybe in black. Oh my gosh. I want that in real life. That is too cute. And then we get this other one, which has like a cat print. Um, and I'm assuming we get other swatches for that. A really, really cute galaxy type of shirt. And then we get this one, which is um, a little bit underwhelming compared to the other ones that we've seen. But it's okay. I can see this being very versatile. I don't like the print that's on it, though. And oh my gosh, this one I also love. Like, I need this. I need this. I love the print as well. It's very... Um, feel more ish cartoony but i really like it I actually have a shirt that looks like this that's this color uh this one i also somewhat really like and now that i see it in a bunch of different swatches i love it i like especially like this one um it's so cute i love the graphicness of it um and oh my gosh another shirt that i want for myself you guys know that i love things that i want <laughs> so i'm loving this stuff back the more i see it because i want all the things uh i love this i love this okay this one okay i'm not loving this because this is giving me a little bit of a retro vibe like the print on this kind of reminds me of something that we see a lot in the kind of early 2000s so i'm i'm gonna pass on that this one is really cute it looks like it has a lot of sense of humor to it so i really like it especially in the pink actually so yeah and then the next one we get this nice little one shirt with which looks like it has the sleeves tucked in and that's really nice because we don't get to see this silhouette that often in the game so that's really awesome and we get a very similar one with different swatches as well cool beans and actually there's four of them so i'm assuming this is like a new type of uh shirt and then it looks like we get one with um looks like we have a teen heartthrob or like tween heartthrob and then over here it has like a nice little dog and all the good stuff so really really nice i'm very very impressed with what i've seen so far this one is one of my favorite shirts actually so i'm gonna put that on her for now her bottoms um okay let's go ahead and filter this because i don't want to i want to make sure that i show you guys everything all right awesome uh okay so we have these pants over here which i think there's too much going on here seriously like it has the pattern it has the ripped situation if it was a plane i think it would be a lot better um so yeah i like them in plain colors so i wish we had like a black version but whatever we have this cute little shirt um, which is so freaking cute. Um, it doesn't come with leggings, thank god. <laughs> but yeah, I think the shirt is really cute actually. I like the color of it. I like how shimmery it is as well. And what is this? Um, we have some bell-bottom-ish looking pants, which... Yeah, they're, they're okay, you know. I'm, I'm not as blown away by these bottoms as I was on the top. So let's go ahead and check out if they have any new accessories. It doesn't look like we get any new accessories, but just to be safe, let's go ahead and filter everything. Nope. Any new shoes? Oh my gosh, I was hoping maybe at least one pair of shoes. That would have been so awesome. Yes, there is one. Yay. All right. Awesome. And it looks like these shoes are also for the boys and for the girls, which is cool. I like them in these colors oh my gosh i need these in my life like seriously i love high cut shoes um i actually have a pair like this one um in that color so whatever all right let's check out the full body outfits oh my gosh <gasps> oh my gosh what are all these costumes like where did all this come from all right we have four new full body outfits and now i'm pretty sure that all of this stuff are kind of for both kids that are male and for female as well because now that I see this I'm pretty sure they're both for both genders in the game so um yeah I think this is pretty basic but honestly I really love this cardigan like this cardigan I want it in real life like where can I get one it's too cute this one has like um kind of a quarter sleeve and a plaid shirt on top of it and some distressed jeans which is really cute you know if you're going for that kind of um granite falls vibe 
that's what I'm getting from this. This one is really cute. I really like this. Um, it's kind of, I'm assuming this is probably like a onesie, maybe not, but it, this is really cute. It's a type of garment that we've never seen before in the game. I just don't like the pattern on it though, like I really don't. <laughs> and then this one is too cute. I love this to death, like this is so cute. Like this is so cute. Oh my gosh, even the bag is um kind of see-through. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love everything about this. I love all the colors and um yeah, I really really like it. So, um just to be safe, I'm going to check out all the stuff for the boys. Yep, it's exactly the same as those for the girls. Um and these hairstyles look a lot better for the male children if i in my opinion actually you know what we have stuff for the boys that we don't have for the girls so that's pretty interesting we have this top over here which is a quarter sleeve distressed looking denim top which is really nice um it looks like something that came with get to work for adults so yeah and then this one, we've actually um, seen this already for the girls. It's the one with the pattern that I don't like. This is really cute. It's very, very simple, but I really like it because it looks like it's really classy. If you guys get what I mean, it looks like something like a rich kid would wear to school or something because I love the back of these leaves on the elbow. I love the elbow pads. I love them so much. And we have a nice little um, t-shirt with a vest over it. Really, really cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I want that vest in real life. I want it. Like, where can I get one? And then let's check out if they have any bottoms. Uh, no, it's the same bottoms that came with the women or the girls. And also same full body outfits that came with the girls. Okay. So yeah, it looks like that is it for all the cast items. Let's go ahead and check out um, all the content that came in build by mode all right all right alrighty guys we are back here in live mode and we're going to be checking out all the new build by mode items that came with this sims 4 kids room stuff okay so i'm really really excited to see the items especially the new gameplay items so let's go ahead and hit the mother load sheet really quickly and make sure that we don't run our own money uh, as we check out all these new stuff uh, let's see, so do we have any new rooms? Let's go ahead and filter everything. Oh, okay, I'm getting so tired of having to filter everything every time I check them out. All right, so um, we have three new preset rooms. We have this one all to myself, um, and we can purchase it in a bunch of different colors. Let's go for the default one. It looks really adorable, actually. It looks really cute. And we get a preview of all the new items, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, we have this one, which is Master Playroom. Comes in a bunch of different colors. And, uh, okay, let's pop it there. Oh my gosh, yes, this is too cute. And then we have Can Have It All, um, which sounds like a room for rich kids <laughs> all right so let's plop that over here as well there might be some gameplay items over there as well so let's just make sure that we plot everything there um and yeah do we have any new um builds by mode content nope doesn't look like we have i mean by builds mode content anyway let's go ahead and hop into by mode and see all the new stuff by the way this um kids room stuff also came with a recent update so in case you guys haven't updated your game it, it's available for all the games uh, you don't have to own kids room stuff but that update has some uh that update has some like new options as well like ghosts underneath kids uh beds and stuff like that so make sure to update your game okay anyway it looks like we have a bunch of new items there's only one bed which kind of makes me a little bit sad <laughs> to be honest so uh, it's a really cute bed though so that's that how I wish that this one came with um, you know like this one I wish that this bed was also available in like two um, as like a double bed that would be that would have been so awesome because these, these bed sheets are so cute um but how i really wish that they were kind of available 
as double beds, but whatever. And then we have this new chair. Really, really cute. Uh, section of sectional chair. I don't get how it says why it's called sectional if it's not, so... Can we get some clarification on that? No, I'm just kidding, but it's really cute. I love the swatches on them. We have this cute little desk chair, and then we have this um, hippodamon that's really cute. And this is a coffee table, and this is a side table. We have this cute desk, which obviously matches with the chair, which is quite awesome. And we have a bunch of wall decor items, which is actually really nice because these decor items actually give a lot of personality to the game, especially to your kids' bedrooms. Oh my gosh, I really like this. Reminds me of something my brother would like to have in this bedroom. So yeah, and it even changes um, its pose and stuff. So that's quite interesting. And then this one comes in a bunch of different swatches. I actually really like this one as well. It looks really modern and futuristic. Uh, let's check out this one if it has like new um, other swatches. Yes, it does. Like the picture on the frame changes a little bit. It's really, really cute. <laughs> that one has like cute little piggy. Um, and then we have some wall posters, uh, which we're going to place over here. And I'm pretty sure if you change like the swatches, they're also going to change. Yep. We have some fairy looking ones. We have some sporty ones, which is awesome, and we have some cute little girly ones. Very cute. And then we have, what is this? Uh, oh, it's a decal. Okay. It's a decal of a bird. Or, or like, ooh, or it's a decal of like fantasy creatures, which I'm assuming these are the ones that are featured in the card game, actually. And I was right. They look very much like Pokemon. Oh my goodness. They look so much like Pokemon. Like seriously, this could be Lugia. This could be um, Vulpix. And this could be um, a pouring from Ragnarok. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, a pouring? Whatever. Um, and by the way, this one could be like either um, uh, Goldeen or Magikarp. <laughs> really funny and then this one it looks like something from Lilo and Stitch actually um so yeah oh my gosh we have uh, another Eevee <laughs> and uh, this one kind of looks like Psyduck but it's um it's a seahorse really cute uh, oh my gosh this one looks so much like Squirtle like seriously this is a Squirtle knockout like it's it's a Squirtle knockout, and this one looks like um, another Pokemon that escapes. His the name escapes me, but it's a white kind of seal one. Is it seal? I'm not sure. Anyway, enough of the Pokemon fanboyism. Ah, uh, this is really cute. I can see a lot of uh, girls wanting this, like for their um, you know, for their princess builds. Uh, those are really really popular now. This one I really like. This looks freaking badass. Like this looks like a freaking Dota poster, which is awesome. Uh, this one I also really like as well. It, it's a pretty modern kind of wall piece of uh, art. So that's really cool. I actually really really like that. I would actually want this for my bedroom, like behind my bed. I actually like all the different swatches of it as well. And we have another painting, like we have a crap ton of these wall arts, uh, which is okay, but I wish we had um, more like beds. <laughs> okay, these are pretty cute. Um, oh my gosh, this one I love. And it, they don't even have to be for the kids' bedrooms, you know, like they could be anywhere. I love this islandy one. And we get this new mirror which has like some decals kind of pasted on it yes I love how the the stickers on it change actually that's really cute I, I appreciate that and we have some more decals these time these are butterflies actually which is interesting what's the difference between this and the oh it's the other one okay really really cute um, and it comes in a crap ton of different colors as well very nice I love the ombre aspect of it. Um, and of course we get another freaking wall art. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Um, this is a jersey, which is really awesome. I recently built a stadium for the game and I saw that there were a lot of missing sports equipment. Like, you know, you know, I felt like we needed a lot more sports themed stuff. So 
That sounds like a great idea for a stuff pack, by the way. But sports themed stuff, okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I building that kind of let kind of informed me that we needed more sports related items so seeing all these sports themed things in the game is really awesome it makes me really happy it makes me really excited to do more builds and then we have a couple of kind of room dividers actually which is interesting how we get two of them uh so yeah the other one has like some hanging things on them Really, really cute. I love the swatches. And once again, these don't have to be for the kids' bedrooms only. You know, you can place them anywhere and they will look just fine. Uh, especially that they come in like uh, plain colors. That's really cute. And we have these ones, which I knew that I was going to like, actually. I love these so freaking much. These are too cute. Uh, I love these lights. Looks like something a vlogger would have behind their you know behind their bed or something <gasps> oh my gosh this is so cute this is probably like a mascot for that game that they were talking about or whatever it looks really familiar though with the claws and stuff probably like a sloth or something another robot figurine a trash can a clock uh what is this uh a tv stand which is really cute actually that is adorable and very versatile looking. We have a bookshelf. I love the name of it. Take me seriously bookshelf. <laughs> and this time it's serious bookshelf. <laughs> oh, and they're kind of, um, you can kind of put them together and they look like just one bookshelf. Really cute. And we have this one wardrobe. And uh, what's this? Oh my gosh, traveling trunk. Is this like a, what's this? Oh, there's toys inside of it. I was, oh, I was kind of hoping that there were like um, costumes inside of it because the costume chest in The Sims 3 Generations was one of my favorite things ever. And this is what I'm talking about. Void Critter Battle Station. Yay. So that is obviously um, a play item for the kids. And we have another kind of item that introduces new gameplay. This puppet stand. Um really really awesome as well what is this blast off lighting oh i thought this was a big thing you know what people could definitely use this for like a space station build or something that would be so useful for that and then some lights which i know i'm gonna love i know i'm gonna overuse these um in my builds these lights are so freaking awesome you can actually see them over here and uh check out all the different swatches they are awesome so yeah that's it for all the new items. So far, I'm kind of blown away. Um, honestly, I wish we had new beds. <laughs> I wish probably we had like a couple new more beds and stuff, but whatever, you know, it's... Um, I'm really happy with all the items that we have so far. I feel like we have a little bit too many wall decorations. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into live mode really quickly and check out all the new interactions. This one has some... Um, okay, we're gonna use some of our sims here to um, clean up toys. Open? Okay. Oh, we can put some toys in this. Okay, I get it. I get it now. All right, but of course, the one thing that we all want to see is this puppet theater thing and this... Um, uh, kind of play room area as well. Okay, we're gonna sit here And then she is going to perform a puppet show uh, The creature of granite falls. Yes I'm assuming that as your sims improve some of their skills more options will be available as well uh, so yeah Bab Samur is like the guardian of these kids over here Oh my gosh, why are they facing the other way? Why are they facing? <laughs> they could not even see it. But this is so cute. Look at all the puppets. So freaking cute. Are they still watching it even though it's like the other way around? That's really interesting. They're not even watching. Okay, uh, watch puppet show. And you're also going to watch the puppet show as well. Babs, girl, go on the other room or whatever. Oh, the adults can um, 
watch the puppet show as well, so that's really cool. Really, really cute. It's so freaking adorable. Really, really cute. And how long does this take? Okay, it doesn't have a timer, so I'm not sure how long this is supposed to take. Alright, they're clapping, they're clapping. Alright. Social butterfly, whatever. Oh, I'm guessing it improves the Sims' relationship as well. Yes, it does. Apparently. <laughs> Get that, they even enter here from the side. That's really cute. Alright, let's speed things up here a little bit. Yay! What is Callum doing? Is she not done yet? Like... Okay. So while these guys are watching that never-ending puppet show, <laughs> let's actually have, um... Oh, it's done! Okay, awesome. So do we get some new interactions from it? Uh... Broke a leg. Well, not literally, of course. Jesse put on a wonderful puppet performance. Yay, that's really cute. Awesome. And what's this one? A delightful puppet show. A theatrical tour de force. That puppet show certainly tipped Duncan's doll meter. Aw, doll. All right, so Duncan and Callum. Callum must have a void credit card to use this object. You can, can buy a booster card from the computer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited for this. I'm so freaking excited for this, you guys. Like, order a void creator booster pack for 25 simoleons. And he's also going to purchase an, a version of it for himself as well. Uh, this looks like it's very comprehensive so I really like it Callum purchased a void critters booster pack he can open it from his inventory to discover the monsters hidden inside awesome uh, Duncan purchased a void critters okay let's check out their inventories really quick and open this yes okay what is this oh we only get one I got it I got it and uh, we get Wiccan which one is it and it looks like it's like a sloth or ghost one. And we, for him, we get um, Articorn, which I really like. Uh, all right, so we're going to. Um, all right, he's gonna go here really quick. Um, before we actually have both of them battle their void critter, we're gonna train ours first. This looks like it's so awesome. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh my goodness. Like I'm so excited for this. I am so freaking- and it's battling like a freezer bunny one. It's so cute. This is so freaking cute. This is just too cute. All right, we are going to have both of them battle with their void creditors. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I am so happy. I'm so freaking happy with this so far. All right, come on, let's go here. And I love the aspect where the void critters are kind of picked randomly as well. Cause, you know, it's like, um, you, you, you get to kind of buy a lot of things, uh, just to get, um, like, you know, just to kind of complete them. It's kind of a random situation. And this looks like it's glitching out or something. I don't know why it doesn't want to stop. All right. Whatever, I guess we have to buy a new one because that's probably like glitching out or whatever. And I wonder how much it costs. Um, it costs 600 simoleons. Oh my gosh, it is not cheap. I mean, 600 simoleons, it's not a bad price considering all the fun that the Sims are going to have from this item. So let's buy one here. And speaking of purchasing something, let's buy a Void Critter for... Uh, yeah, let's order a Void Critter for, um, what's her name? Jessie? Yeah, we're gonna purchase one pack. And open that. Alright, have them both go here. Nimbus! Oh, okay. Okay, so we are going to have both of them battle their Void Critter. Nimbus. 
You only have one freaking void critter. Come on. Oh, he's done. This is interesting. Thank you for wasting my time. <laughs> anyway. The void critter aspect is amazing. Like, it's really cute. And I love how, um, I love how, like, you know, I love how, like, the, um, the puppet one has, like, new moodlets and stuff. I really like it. Alright, let's take a picture of that. It looks like Duncan is losing because that expression on his face, though. Alright, so I'm just waiting for them to finish playing and I want to see, like, how things are going to turn out. Pirates and pineapples. Exploring time with everyone's favorite wacky cartoon crew. Awesome. Alright. Speed things up here a little bit. I want to see if we get any new moodlets when we finish playing, actually. And it looks like these actually take a really long time. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, look, I'm guessing Duncan lost. Okay, humbling loss. There's no blaming lag for that loss. That was an all-around stumping Duncan's opponent's ELO must have been off the chart, whatever, whatever that meant. And a Void Critter Victor, Jesse bought her A game and walked away a winner. Okay, so we do get new interactions and stuff, so that's really, really awesome as well. So, anyway, now that we've seen quite a lot of um, stuff from the Sim 4 kids room stuff my impressions of it are it's pretty awesome it's a really really good stuff pack i love all the new items that have new interactions with it especially um the void critters one i love it so much i can see a lot of potential in that aspect and how the sims can build up on it so i hope that they don't forget that because i really really like that aspect and i also really like the puppet one as well especially that they give new moodlets for the kids that's really awesome the the cast items are great you know especially for the girls um and all that good stuff but you know we can interchange them with the boys as well so yeah Overall, I highly suggest that you guys get this stuff pack immediately. Not only do we get a crap ton of new items that are good, we also get some new um, interactions as well and new gameplay, which is amazing. So uh, this is definitely better than some other stuff pack that we have. So if you guys are torn and if you guys are not decided on which of the seven stuff packs to get this is definitely highly recommended okay anyway that is going to be it for my review for the sims 4 kids room stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this informative so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here once again please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really does up all the channel a lot okay you all have an awesome 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 day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye bye